All right, so this looks good. It's gonna work for us. All right, let's just do the basics here and take our time. This is a cup. Okay, it's on with the carabiner. This is metal, it's a camping cup, and it's got this coating. Now, I'm not sure if we can boil this or not, but I know it's you know, meant to not break or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try when I'm out on the road to boil something in this, or at least heat it up, and see if it has a bunch of junk or chemical looking stuff in there. So we'll find out. But I'm also gonna take some other stuff to cook with. But anyways, um, I like this because it has the hook. You know, you can put soup in here, coffee, tea, uh, whatever. Perfect for one person. I have a little fan right here. Um, this takes batteries and pulls you off. You're super hot. Not super. You're a little hot. Super. Um, it has a squirter, so I could, it'll mist you. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Purple, the Joker color. Not gay. Just kidding. I don't have anything against you gay people. Anyways. You people. You gays. Nah, I do. But I'm trying to get over it. Um, okay. So. I have here a headlamp. It's got a red light in case I want to do um, some... Self camping. Okay. So hands free light. Let's see what the heck I'm doing. Look at that. Okay. So oh it does move. Okay. Swivels. This is one my son gave me. It's a military uh, spec, no spec light. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Roxanne! Put on your red light for me. Yeah, that's not how it goes. Right. That light. Um, I have this flathead screwdriver, it's a big one. I just put it in here because I need to pack it in the truck so I don't forget this. That's not going to stay in here. I have some keys here. One's for my trailer hitch on my truck, so I need to put that in the truck. It's going to go. I have this. This is a cool watch with a uh, paracord attached. You could use that for cordage to make a shelter or whatever. It has a has a rake whistle. Don't rape me, please. It's not really funny though, is it? Okay, South Park wouldn't think it was funny. But um little compass probably doesn't work with the damn. Batteries are already done in this thing after I had it for like six months, but it's still pretty cool. Um so I think I'm gonna take this. I don't need it, but I might be able to barter. Maybe it's for some gas or something um, from somebody. That's a big thing on my mind lately is when I do the little money. Um, I'm probably just gonna park at you know a gas station with my gas can and just ask people to trade me for some gas or if somebody's cool enough to maybe just give me a gallon, you know, and, because I'm living the dream, you know. People appreciate it, I've been told. Yeah, some of us have, you know, took in the leap, jumped off the deep end, into the deep end, jumped off the cliff and just went. Now we're, we're just going. Let, we're getting all that weight off of our shoulders and just going. So yeah, I mean, it's a big difference between 
I choose to be homeless and somebody not choosing. Those people, you know, I feel very bad for them. Although maybe they end up finding happiness eventually. But probably for another vlog, another video. Um, I got some playing cards. I like playing poker, blackjack, go fish, whatever. Uh, generic flonase. Take this every day because my nose is fucked up. And my allergies and my asthma. Backup inhaler. Rescue inhaler. Um, now that I quit vaping for two months, I only use this once a day. Before it was like three times a day. Um, yeah, I quit smoking a long time ago before I started vaping again. <coughs> or vaping instead of smoking. I do see a difference. Smoking. Once I quit that for like a year in my lungs, I hardly ever needed that inhaler unless it was triggered by like um, dust or cats or running or laughing too much or something. And then I started vaping for about a year and a half and then I started noticing my asthma was getting fucked up and I have to use my inhaler all the time. So I do know that vaping does damage your lungs based on that. So yeah, I love vaping, it tastes good and it's, you know, Something to do when you're bored and nicotine rush and all that, but yeah, it's not for me. Alright. So I have the laser pointer fire starter here, the compass. I have a knife. This knife's awesome. I got this freaking knife at Big Five. It's a Smith & Wesson. It's got serrated blade. I'm regular. Um, it's got a... It's got a, um... A window, a, a vehicle window sh shatterer, shatter, you break the window, right? I don't know what the right word is, um, because car, car windows are really hard to break. Um, it's got a seat belt cutter, so let's picture, picture yourself, you're upside down in your car, you can't get out, cut the seat belt, if you can get to this, break the window, you know, those kind of situations, or maybe I could save somebody, you know, that'd be awesome. So, that's there for now. I'm probably gonna move it. You know, standard backpack. Uh, and I've got a little fishing kit on the outside, right here. The fishing line's inside here, I think. Right. I got some Dawn liquid soap. It's got the little birdies on it. The ducks who get fucked over by oil slips or whatever. Um, this is safe on animals, so I can wash my dog with it, and it's, I don't have to worry about getting special shampoo. Get that back. Let's see what we got in here. And this is for maps and stuff. You, put, you can put maps and keep shit flat right here. What I've got in there right now is some medicine, Advil, um, and the pink ones. What is that? Um, Benadryl? Yeah. For allergic reaction for me or my dog. That works for both of us. Instant coffee and sweetener. Survival uh, amount. Not a lot. I'm gonna take more of that with me in the truck, but better than nothing, you know? We finish later. Yeah, this is. Um, This guy, who, this is an organizer that I got, is for fishing. Um, but, you know, at Walmart in the fishing section, I got this. Cheap, cheaper than the camping section, because it's not quite as durable. But, um, if you can see what I got in there so far. 
not full yet, but I've got water purification tablets, I've got AAA batteries, I've got a sewing kit. No, those are just needles. There's no fat in here. Big needles. And a hook one so I could do my own stitches if I had to, Rambo style. Gotta hope that never happens, I'll just carry it. Double A batteries, Pepto Bismol tablets, and some cough drops. These are the ones, um, uh, close up that is numb your throat if you have a bad cough. Gatorade and that, and some aspirin or ibuprofen, and I can pretty much get through anything that I would. Um, Super Bowl. Two of them come in a kit for like a dollar fifty. At Walmart, I love that store. We closed it for years. Um, one stop shop. So, with Crazy Glue, my idea was if I get a really bad cut, I can glue it together to stop the bleeding. So, boom, great tip right there. Priceless. Um, I got some of these things. Uh, you know, because you have to be safe. Practice um, everything with safety. If you want to live a good amount of time. Yeah. Don't need to go into further detail with that. Um, I have a pair of gloves in here. I guess I should just pull them out and not be lazy. So I'm pair of gloves, because I'm a freak when it comes to protecting my hands. I've worked for years and I still have pretty good hands because I've always covered them. Um, Okay, that's a long sleeve shirt. This is just in here from before. Because I used to keep it. In case I went somewhere with a t shirt on. And, uh, you know, got pulled. Got a little wannabe ranger wool on this thing. That's probably going to change. I can change that. I might do that today. Because I have other things I need to put in there. There's another inhaler with a few puffs on it. Good to know. What happens a lot too is you'll make these packs and then a week later, you kind of forget exactly what's in here. So it gives you a peace of mind that you're, you're pretty much prepared for anything. I got the Benadryl anti-itch stick. So if you get mosquito bites, put this on there. Oh. Wonderful. Um, here's the sewing thread. Put it in here. Look how big it is. It's not going to fit in that organizer, right? So, yeah, I mean, I've been blessed to have money enough to afford a lot of this stuff and I don't know how long I'll be able to hold on to it but I realize that a lot of people don't have the luxury of having all this stuff. So for now let me put this back. Yeah, I'm gonna make another video or something to keep putting stuff in here. I think you guys want to watch me do all that like a 30 minute freaking video. Yeah. So, one more pocket to go. Gonna be a bunch of shit in this one. Okay, here's the fishing line. Pretty good spool. I'm also, I ordered some beads, some alpha, alpha beads, alphabet beads. And I'm gonna make some bracelets. I don't know if I'm gonna use a fishing line, depends on how big the hole is in the bead, but 
I want to make some bracelets to like give to people as like if they donate gas or food to me or money or whatever. That'd be cool. Just to do a trade like the Indians used to do, you know? Okay, this is uh, just a trash bag for a waterproof or something. This is a life straw. And this will save your life and keep you from getting diarrhea and dying and sick. So, if you're crossing the country on foot and you have a questionable water source, you fill up your cup or you put this in the stream and you suck through it like a straw and it filters. One thing to know is you gotta blow air through it when you're done to keep it good working condition. This is a camp camping towel. It's small. So it's like a chamois or whatever. So I can dry myself off and look it's tiny. Look at all the stuff I can put in here. Okay. This is my fuel for my little uh, camping stove. Here's the camping stove. It's small, it fits in this box. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about these things, so you can check that out. Okay. <clears throat> This is um, nylons. Um, and what these are good for is to keep your feet from blistering. So you cut the, leg, the feet off and you wear those under your socks. So I've heard you don't get blisters that way. I haven't tried it yet. And also, if you wear the whole set, it, it keeps ticks from biting you, being able to bite you. They can't bite through the shit. It's pretty good. I hate ticks. This is gross. Um, but yeah, I'm not like um, becoming a drag queen or anything, even though I went to a drag show once, which is pretty wild, but kind of scarred me a little bit for a few days. But um, my mind's like, is that a woman? Looks like a pretty woman, but hairy arms and kind of big jaw. Some of them do look like women, and I think men are close to women, right? There's like a chromosome, looks like. Me. It triggered some things in me. I'm trying to get over all that, you guys. So try not to judge me too hard, because try not to judge you guys. Okay. Well, I guess this wants to be free. This is a bug. No, not bug. Uh, bite and sting kit. So if you get bit, this sucks out the poison from snakes and shit like that. Um... There's so many instructions are in there. This rip, so all I want to do is take this kit. There you go. Had that for years, never needed it, which is funny. One of those camping stuff. Okay. This was in here. It doesn't fit in there good, but that's like a belt strap. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that, but this is a um a cleaning knife or a um, skinning knife. If you got an animal, let's say a deer or a rabbit or whatever, and you want to skin it, you put that, you know, and you... This isn't for vegans, okay? You guys will be mad at me if you're vegans, but I, for right now, I'm a, um, an omnivore right now. So I eat plants and animals. I, I, am, I am for the ethical treatment of animals and free range, like I don't like this uh, massive produce farms or whatever they call them, where the cows and the chickens are all bunched together, I don't like that, but I still love meat, so whatever, but toilet paper, camping toilet paper, and then I have this awesome plate, it's a compartment plate and it's metal, so yeah, stoked on that, right, no table, but I find a rock or something and put it on there. There's a little tag in here. Save some weight. Okay, there's another zipper. No, a compartment. Nothing in there. And then there's a zipper on top. Q-tips. Holy crap. I 
lighter, thick lighter. That's the best fire starter that I like. Um, cam face lotion. There's an Xbox, an old Xbox hard drive thingy. Don't need that anymore. A comb and some nail clippers. And waterproof adhesive tape, which I think is the first aid type stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Throw ones or whatever. I also have some earplugs. It should be in the bag. I don't have one handy, so I'm putting it back in there. Alright, so you guys don't need to see me pack it back up. I'm on long video already. Thank you for watching. I'm going to change this song because it's not one of my favorites. Pick out my merch. Right. So yeah, sorry about the um, amateur video uh, techniques here. I'm not even doing much editing because I don't. I'm too lazy to go on the computer and try to figure all that out right now. But I will eventually. Maybe I'll do some product um, showings or you know get a sponsor. I don't really care. I just want food and gas and keep myself free. But yeah, so. Salty Castaway is done here. Thank you for watching, YouTubers. Peace out.